Rari, shopping, lemon, copping. These lyrics are stupid. Is this G-Eazy? Oh my gosh, it's G-Eazy! Yes! He's been like, he was my life role model. I followed him for so long. Ooh, I did not know who this is. I'm very excited. Ever catch me cheating, she would try to cut my Turn I, mob into the end of time. Only one who gets me, I'm a crazy Gemini. Got that retro look. Oh, I want that jacket. He looks always so fly. Ever go down or get caught or they identify my bitch was I never heard it before, but they got a nice flow. See, that's my down bitch. See, that's my soldier. I'm so bored. Anyone goes there. Not really my taste or sound. Oh my gosh, I was literally listening to this on my way here. Is that Halsey? I am his, and he is mine. In the end, it's him and I. Him and I. That was cute. I'm not really a fan of this sound. I just think it's very easily forgettable. I'll see and GEC like actually directed this video, which is so sweet. It like I love them. I still have like mixtapes on my old phone of GEC. I might go fuck up these bands. Ay. I do this because I can. Yeah. I already I hate this video. Uh, 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 uh. I heard him before, but I never knew he was a white boy. It feels like a joke. Like honestly, this feels like like a poser. Uh, ten years. It has been brewing. Ay, I'm like the f you've been doing. Yeah, holla It's kind of cliche with the black and white again. That's just nasty. Number one. I'm so over the whole like hot girls wiggling their ass on the screen. Like, come up with something original, please. The cool thing about Jay Z too is I know he makes a lot of his own beats. This is a freestyle. I ain't even write this. This is a freestyle. I didn't write this down. Sure, sure you didn't. I don't even think he's that good of a rapper. He just uses a. Hey. He's like putting all this like sexualizing women so much. You don't have to prove yourself. Like you're such a good rapper and you have like great lyrics. He makes the beats. He has some solid rhymes. He went super pop, but that's whatever. No limit. I'm oh yeah, yeah. I've heard this. That's G Easy. I've seen his name before, like on my radio when it goes by. And over. Told that bitch to kick rock. She act like it's a boulder. Hey, Rory. Hey, Rory. Shopping. Let me. These lyrics are stupid. This is cool, but his old ones are better. Hopping, ain't no stopping. Album dropping. Yeah. This is a good one. He got Cardi B on there with him. Oh man. When you team up with Cardi B, it's automatically gonna be a banger. Like that's the rules. That's Cardi now. His cred went way up in my mind. If I hit it one time, I'm a Oh yeah, this is fire right here. This is on the radio right here. I listen to this all the time. You just want to jam, you want to do your thing, you don't care how you're looking. And then the lyrics always mess it up for me. I actually do really enjoy the song. My sister and I will rock to this baby. But it might just be the fact because Cardi and Aesop's in it. Uh. And this, far as I this is the one that like blew up huge. Oh, I've heard this song too. Space to do me, get a word what they're trying to see. Saint Laurent, get what I want when I want, cause it's hunger is driving me, yeah. Oh, I know like all these, I know them all. Yeah. It's just me, myself, and I. See, I had known him, but I didn't know that I had known him. Yeah. It's just me, myself, and I. Oh, I didn't know this is him. I, I like the chorus. I love that bit right there. Yeah. These kind of rap songs with like that little melody of singing are very corny to me. But he always has like a a big female presence in all his songs, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And now I'm like talking to strangers. So get the fuck off me. I'm we got skills though. We can rap though. Be cool, but I may just go and say fuck out of all of your faces. He's trying so hard to be angsty and like vulnerable and it's just not hitting me at all. It's become too cold to break. They overplayed the shit out of this song. I actually didn't like this song that much. I just liked to ease this part. If I said that and I mean it. Yo, he look like he could be a television reporter. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. That's we we passed 
brown, that's G shit, but you ain't fam, so what is this weak shit? That's you very weird to see him dress like that and say those words. It's my world, I does what I wish to. I mean, the video looks cool, but I feel like even the videos aren't really anything different. Is this dude? Kick's game is just rude. Go get you jitsu. See, this is more interesting. I love this video. This video was so fun. This is old, but it's good. Don't say he didn't warn you. And no, 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 no. He knows. Ah, oh, this is so, so good. It's more visually interesting, even though the song wasn't <laughs> more interesting. I really liked them. I didn't expect that strong of a voice to come from him. I'm like so internally conflicted about this because I've followed him for so long and I don't know how I how I like the growth. So all those videos come from rapper g -Z. Uh, How would you describe him and his music? Generally forgettable. g -Z sounds too much like cheesy and that's what it sounds like. I like the beats, I like the flow. He rap better than some black guys I know. He's very good. His lyrics are interesting. Honestly, I had no idea he was white. He's kind of like a pop rapper. He collabs with like uh, big pop artists. Uh, his lyrics are kind of like, Poppy lyrics. He has an image of like a rock star, you know, like with the hair like of the 50s, like back a little bit with his like leather jacket and stuff and like wearing all black and stuff, like very like classy. But then he's just rapping and I, I love that. Jeezy describes his music as 50s and 60s culture mixed with contemporary rap, uh, stating that I'm all about pulling together totally different styles of music, different genres, different cultures and combining the two. So you have this idea of this late 50s, early 60s kind of culture blended with contemporary rap. Yeah, he definitely for sure has that style. How would you say he incorporates 50s and 60s culture in his music, in his videos, if at all? I say he needs to go back and like Wikipedia what 50s and 60s are. I didn't get that at all. I thought I thought using the black and white and that so it was a gimmick. Maybe he sampled some music from the 50s and 60s, but I didn't necessarily hear it in the music. I did see it a little bit in the music video, the first one where he was kind of like a greaser. I didn't see it in his music at all, which is unfortunate because I like the idea. His lyrics are certainly modern, I would say but I will say his look to me was very retro. It almost seemed strange to have that kind of retro look with the backdrop of everything else was modern. You can see it on him and you can see it on his music, 100%. Like this new album, the first track from the album, it starts with this old school vintage even sound from like a record player. When you hear like the record sound playing and like that scratchy, like that's how I know it's like a g Easy song. Not only is g music inspired by the 50s and 60s, but his style is as well with him saying he gets inspiration for his style from older artists like Johnny Cash. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, Johnny Cash, James Dean, like for sure he gets that style. We have a few pictures of Jeezy and his style to show you now and see what you think. Well, yeah, that's definitely not um, what you would pick for a rapper. Looking at these pictures, you would not think that those songs would come out of this um, little hipster boy. Something about it says to me that it's put on, it, it's not, you know what I mean? Like, it's more like it's a photo shoot. He's definitely like, looked up images on Google. Like 50s and 60s images. Okay, Letterman's jacket, sweet. Suspenders, uh-huh. Despite what I care about his music, he's a fly dude. It's all very James Dean. That photo of him like doing this with his arm, oof, that photo is like, it's like, oh my gosh, you got me. He looks dapper. That was like, this is how we should be dressing. Oh, it's so cool. Finally, g Easy's latest album, The Beautiful and Damned, was released recently. After listening to some of his music today, do you think you're gonna check it out? No. That, that's a hard no. And if it's on somewhere, I'm gonna ask him to turn it off. I wouldn't, because I would just be like, okay, the lyrics are gonna be typical. I don't know if I'm gonna become like a fan, but I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on him and like see what he does in the future, see if he does anything more interesting. I'm gonna still play his old music. I really enjoyed his old music, but I don't know if I'm gonna check out his new stuff as much. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely gonna check it out. Totally. I'm about to jump on my Apple Music right now. Considering I've been listening to his music for like six years now, I think I'll be checking it out. I already have the album. Cheesy, I love you, you're the man, you inspire me. Thank you so much for making music. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. Thank you so much to Raymond Delport for watching last week. If you want a shout out like Pasta Sauce Grandma, hit that subscribe button. And come say hi in the comments like Taylor Harris. Hey guys, Virtui here, producer at FBE. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. Do you have a favorite artist you want us to react to? Let us know in the comments. Bye.